Welcome back to the channel everyone, Davey Deathray here, and today we're going to take a look at the Crow trailer that just dropped this morning. The film stars Bill Skarsgård, and after that photo that was released last week caused a bit of controversy online, I'm excited to take a look at the trailer and see if it fares any better. Real quick before we get going, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on the Crow remake and what you think of the trailer. All right, here we go. What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. You feel like my person. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you feel like my person. What's the worst thing you've ever done? I saw things. <laughs> I've seen any of it. Danny Houston, FKA Twigs. I have no idea who she is. This is my first time. Holy shit. Please don't do this! Damn. When someone dies. A crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes something so bad happens that the soul cannot rest. Until you put the wrong things right. You were given the power of a god. But you're running out of time to save her. Holy sh! I'm gonna Jeez. kill them. Every single one of them. I killed you. Yeah, you did. We have a problem. He came for us. First impulse. Anger. It's not anger. It's love. What you become? You know that love promises only pain. You have no idea what hell awaits you. No, I do. How many people have you loved? I never be alone. Holy shit! Man, that is an extremely violent trailer. Holy crap. Let's uh, get it playing on in the background over here. First things that stand out to me is, you know, you know how this story is going to go, right? You know that they're going to die. That's just the way the crow is birthed, I suppose. So, um, you know, I guess it's not that big of a spoiler to show it in the trailer, but they do show quite a bit, so... I don't think they necessarily have to show how it all goes down. They probably could have left a little bit of that, um, you know, as a mystery. But I really like, as far as like the cinematography goes here, not so much early on in the trailer like what we're seeing now, but I noticed a lot of really beautiful symmetry on some of the bigger shots. So kind of a Kubrickian sort of symmetry that I've seen people like Wes Anderson do in especially a uh, Grand Budapest Hotel. Just beautiful, um, you know, shots where there's this awesome symmetry, really grand sets, especially when he's going, I don't know if it's like a hotel or just uh, like an older building later on. I'll bring it up when we get there. But I do really like these shots here. Um, you know, the stylistic use of slow-mo, as long as you pick your spots, um, it's pretty cool. Maybe they're just doing that for the, the effect of the trailer as well. Um, 
extremely violent. Yeah, the blood splatter there looks great. Uh, the character design is pretty interesting. Definitely like, um, you know, an updated look as far as face tattoos and just, um, you know, he's got a look like a younger person nowadays. So it's kind of fitting. Um, I think some people that are, <laughs> that headshot's gnarly. A lot of people that are used to the Brandon Lee version, like that's the version I grew up with that came out when I was in, I think I was in middle school. Awesome soundtrack for that Crow film, by the way. I think people are sort of used to that, but uh, we kind of have to accept that in a new age, we're gonna get um, some characters that look modern. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that. As long as the story is good and it's uh, everything's properly motivated and it's performed well, here's some of the really beautiful symmetrical shots here. Um, awesome shots of him going up the stairs. That was that. was There was that great shot of Danny Houston. I think it's Houston, maybe it's Huston. Let me know in the comments. Um, sitting in that big theater, that amphitheater by himself, another beautiful symmetrical shot. Um, really great action scenes here. They're kinda, it seems like they're giving away quite a bit, so maybe there is an angle here that they're kinda keeping hidden from us as far as um, you know, what the conflict will be for him. It sounds like he's got a limited amount of time to save the soul of his loved one and maybe himself as well. Uh, more great symmetrical shots here. Just, it looks beautiful. I, I am, you know, pleasantly surprised to see how good this film looks. Um, being kind of a casual fan of the character and, you know, not really the picture that they released last week that kind of sent Twitter into a big old fire, um, you know, didn't represent the film, I think, as well as this trailer does. So I think that's a positive thing moving forward. The trailer looks better than the still image that we got of The Crow last week. So um, yeah, I think this looks promising. Some good sy symmetry there with them in the tub. Uh, another one right there. So yeah, this looks extremely violent very comic booky. Um, I've seen a couple people, this is my first time watching the trailer, you know, here on the on the stream, but I saw a couple people, you know, kind of liken it to the John Wick series, which I can definitely see, uh, you know, that modern approach to filmmaking. Um, that song that was playing in the soundtrack, I'm not really big on the whole, like, you know, remixed somewhat industrial pop music with like the overuse of, um, you know, the auto tune on the vocal. And you, you see this a lot in trailers where like the music is like, and they usually take, I don't recognize this song, but they usually like the Batman with Robert Pattinson took something in the way by Nirvana and they like make it slow. And, you know, it just seems like the kind of thing. I think the Beekeeper had the Nine Inch Nails song. I think it was closer that they used in the Beekeeper um, trailer that we just see this kind of trope. So I, I would say the one thing that, you know, doesn't really grip me here in the trailer is the music. But I doubt if they use it in the film, it'll probably be used for one little bit in the background. But I think this looks promising. Um, Bill Skarsgård is in pretty much everything lately, and I can definitely see why. He is a transcendent young actor, and yeah, I think fans of The Crow should be should feel uh, pretty good about this and, and be pretty optimistic, um, you know? I doubt we'll get another trailer since this is coming out this summer. Maybe we'll get a TV spot or two that shows something different. This will probably be the last thing that I cover on this film uh, until it comes out and I'm able to see it, but yeah, I think uh, there's a lot to feel good about here, and we'll just see how it all shakes out once the film comes out. All right, guys, well, let me know in the comments section below your thoughts on this trailer. Are you convinced to buy your ticket yet? Do you need to see more? I can't imagine anyone wanting to see more, but you know, that's just me. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as well if you enjoy this kind of content. And until next time, I've been and will continue to be Davey Deathray. Take care.